Hi there, level two pupils. Uh, your task is to have a go at uh, doing some projectile motion questions using your garden hose. And so we're going to spend a little bit of time uh, working through that. So you need a garden hose, you'll need some measuring device. You could use your phone. A tape measure is probably the easiest. Um, two containers like some milk bottles and a protractor um, device. Um, so Ideally, you'll make something like this, so you need a protractor, and you can sellotape it to a stick or a straw or whatever, a piece of string, and then a mass. I'm using my son's toy car. Uh, you can hang in masses of whatever form, so uh, you'll need that and a hose and some milk bottles. Um, there's a video, this video that I'm talking to now, uh, you can get that from the link, and I've got an Excel spreadsheet which has... Um, all the answers to the questions that you're working through. So uh, the purpose of this is an experiment. So you get your own data and you can type your data into the yellow fields and the rest of the fields will fill up and give you the answers. Um, if you scroll through the document, uh, it gives you a little bit of instructions. Um, and the first thing you're going to do is measure dy. Oh, that's wrong. And dx. So this is meant to be dx at the bottom. Uh, with those two pieces of data, you go through and you work out the time, and you work out the horizontal velocity, um, and therefore you work out the total velocity of the water. And so I've tried to step it through to start with, give, telling you what variables to use, and then you have to choose an appropriate kinematic equation. Uh, in section two, uh, you're going to measure dx, dy to the, the point at the highest um, place, and dy is actually from the top of the milk bottles, and so you can have to subtract or add depending on how you do your calculations the height of the milk bottle so it goes from top of the milk bottle uh, to the top of the milk bottle uh, you do some vector stuff so you break uh, velocity into vx and vy uh, you calculate the time it takes to reach the maximum height total time and therefore the range and then you can check what you've measured uh, you can then also do the same with the height um, Part 2b is the same as part 2a, except I want you to change your angle. So you might have used 30 degrees the first time, and then you use 60 degrees the next time, and you go through it again. Uh, this time there isn't as much scaffolding, so it's a little bit more tricky. Uh, section 3, uh, it is possible to work out uh, the velocity without knowing the angle, uh, and so you can go through these steps and get there. You'll notice that every question has a little um, end note on it, and so you can click on that. And it'll actually take you to a full set of answers for each question. Um, the idea is that you have a go rather than just copy the answers. Um, also in the Excel spreadsheet uh, for section two, I've made a whole bunch of um, section here that tests your answer. So you're trying to get the lowest percentage difference. So you're trying to get the most accurate answer there. And so it does actually work out velocity for you as well. Okay, so let's go see how we actually do this. Step one, you need to get a hose connected to some sort of fitting which has a nice laminar flow. So we're seeing that that water is basically consistent all the way down and it's basically hitting the, the ground in the same place. So we're wanting to get a flow that's a little bit like that. Um, setting it up in the driveway or against the fence or something is probably quite good. If we turn the water pressure up, we see that it's all kind of breaking apart and it's going everywhere and it's it's a bit more of a turbulent flow so we just need to reduce the water pressure down like that's okay there's a little bit of variation and you can even go a bit slower just reducing the water pressure on the tap until we get a nice beautiful consistent flow here we have the water um, put inside the rubbish bin and so it's shooting purely um, horizontally so the initial vertical velocity is zero, and you should be able to see on your angle measurer it's a basically 90 degrees launch angle, which is basically a zero degree launch angle. So we know with the ruler out, we can see that it's about 140, 144, we'll say 1.44 meters that it has been shot by from the bin. And the bin is, so from the ground, 86.5 centimetres, 0.865 metres. After you've worked out the initial speed of the water, without changing the water pressure, if you hook it up at a particular angle, so I'm using 
milk bottles so that the launch height and the arrival height are the same and then using our awesome homemade angle measuring machine we come down here and we can measure the angle now it would look to be about 35 degrees um, however if we remember that that is 90 and that's 10, 20, 30, 40 so it's about 55 degrees really not 35 so you've got to get that angle right by seeing what is it, how's it changed by and then so I'm saying uh, where that is is probably about a meter 20 maybe a meter 19 and I'm measuring to the center of kind of where the water's landing which is kind of the center of the milk bottle and so the water's been going for a little bit and so I filled up the water uh, the milk bottle with the water that's been launched from that same height um, that water is not perfectly laminar um, it's a bit average in fact but you kind of get the idea of what it's meant to be now I've changed angles again uh, so I can use my trusty angle measurer which now appears to be hitting almost 30 degrees so 90 minus 30 is about 60 um, and now yeah, basically trying to get into the middle of the milk bottle measuring that on the zero if we come down here we're looking at about um, 1.09 08, 1.08 meters. So although it is theoretically possible for you to use the data from this video and to answer all the questions, uh, it would be my hope that you would go get a hose out, uh, create a laminar flow, get an angle measuring device, and even if you don't have an angle measuring device, you can still do a fair amount of the questions um, and have a go. It's meant to be a practical, and I hope you have heaps of fun.